Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. This time I thought I will do something different and tell you a little story what I wanted to do and why I haven't done it. So my plan was that, uh, well, I go through the R packages that you partly on the screen and all the other ones that are on the uh, CRAN database or by CRAN website. And well, I just go through them and see which packages are genomics related. Well, uh, there are quite a number of packages here. And uh, well, the plan was that I just go through and like, you know, read through the descriptions and based on these descriptions, perhaps I could identify the genomics uh, related packages. Now, fortunately, I haven't done it uh, right away. And first I copy pasted, well, this entire web page into Excel and found out that there are over 19,000 packages on this web page, 19,000 lines, which would take a very, 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 very long time to go through with my initial plan. So I did the sensible thing and immediately scrapped that plan. But still, uh, well, I would like to give you some kind of an overview, what you could expect as an overall picture when you go to the R contributed packages on the CRAN website. So if you are wondering how I got here, so this is the R web page, and here are these packages, the contributors packages, and you click here, and you can also click here, sorted by the name. And so this is how you get basically to, to this list. Now, what I have done, I copied everything into a text file and then extracted only this uh, short description. And well, uh, just give an overall picture about a lot of words, what you use a word cloud. And so this is what I have done. And basically this is the word cloud that comes out if you do it with the, the short descriptions of all these 19,000 R packages. Well, this is how this website looks like with a with a kind of a nice uh, structure as well. So the website I'm using wordart.com, quite nice uh, web page with a lot of options. And uh, yeah, so just uh, give you something to look at. And also kind of a nice summary of the words that I use. So basically, if you don't know what word cloud is, so it's kind of a almost like an artistic uh, picture that displays the words the bigger with the bigger font if they are used more often. So these are all the words that are used in these short descriptions and you see the data is being most often used but then also the words model and estimate analysis and all these kind of words are used quite often in the descriptions of our packages. Well, what does it tell us? It is an overall picture about the words and descriptions that the people who were creating all these 19,000 R packages, well, found to be important enough that they appear in these, in these short descriptions. So this is an overall picture, as I said. But now, because we are at the Genomics Bootcamp channel, what I did, I wrote a short uh, code or R script that extracted only the lines from these 19,000 that contain the word genetic in them. So, ge so that is, would be kind of a restriction. Now, obviously there are much lower number of, uh, of packages and much, much lower number of these lines, but these are the kind of, this is a word cloud that is related to R packages that are directly related to genetics, or at least they have the word genetic in their short description, this one-liner description. Also on the left side here, you see that how many times each word was used. And well, genetic is kind of obvious because this was the filtering criterion. So let's uh, remove it right now. So genetic remove. And we visualize thing again. And yes, so this is the new word cloud with the other 
words or, or kind of the descriptions that are present. And we see that the phylogenetics well, surprisingly pops up quite often, population, so most likely related to population genetics, analysis model, and quantitative, well, probably also to quantitative genetics and rest kind of pops up many words, uh, well, just once. And well, then I went uh, one step further and uh, also because we are on the genomics bootcamp, I included only the lines that have the word genomic in them. So there is, should be just some kind of a genomic related packages before it was genetic, now it's genomic. And uh, well, sort of unsurprisingly, the, the word genome is, is very, very prominent. Uh, and but then also then data analysis use selected tools and also well others and then metagenomics it seems uh, somewhat more frequent than the others and uh, well these are also the the other words that are appearing in the short descriptions and also well this is a kind of a nice representation visual representation of the topics that appear often or more often than than, than others in these uh, in these R packages and then what i did i went one step further and included the word only that had the word omic or omics in their in their description here again the data is, is very very prominent or the word data so it, it appears uh, well, uh, the more almost double times than than any others. Surprisingly, also the omic it's omics itself, which was, which was uh, well, also a selection criterion. But yeah, so this is uh, this is uh, the the omics description here. I, I also I have to add. So here, omics could be the separate word as as, as the, the omics, or also the part of other words for example genomics was one now it's a kind of a double counting but genomics was only 11 lines but you see that there are also well, omics itself is is as a word 27 times but also the metabolomics proteomics genomics transcriptomics are kind of used frequently in the words or in these uh, short descriptions so also well the data is, is sort of a, a general term so let's remove that and revisualize the cloud, well, more accurate picture, but omics as the selection criterion was also kind of obvious. So let's see what happens now. Well, yes, this is, <laughs> again, now the analysis is the, one, is the one that is also kind of an obvious term, but I will not continue with these removals. But basically, these are then the topics that you could find in these, in these R packages. So for the purposes of this fun little exercise, this fun little video, I decided to stop here, but uh, well, we might uh, return to this topic uh, in the future. But I have a question to you in the comments below. Let me know which one is your favorite R package. Well, could be genomics related, genetics related or otherwise. Because one thing that is apparent that there are a lot of possibilities to check out genetic and genomic data using established R packages. Of course, we explore the R packages from the contributed one on the CRAN site, but there are numerous other places where you could get especially biology and genetics, genomics related R packages. Of course, include all of them when you think about your favorites and let me know in the comments below. For today, I thank you for your time and have a really nice day.